Now, uh, on Earth, we have limited number of elements. Some of them are abundant. Some of them, like uranium or thorium, are very rare. But as we go on to other planets, uh, comets, asteroids, and we dig material from them, we will have a vast array of material. And hence, there will be uh, people who deal with materials uh, who can compose multiple elements out of them. They can create products which will be amazing, super strong products, uh, which will be super light. Uh, and they can be used in all a variety of applications. So, and another uh, area of material science which will be important would be nanomaterials. You know, very, very small materials. You can't see them. They are 10 to the power of minus 9 meter size materials, which can actually go inside the body and do a variety of things, you know, cure diseases, kill bad cells, cure cancer. So that's the future of material science. Well, material science is a beautiful field and uh, we would discover new material, I hope, and will be needed for create, and need, needed to, for create a material which can withstand extreme conditions, be super strong and useful on planet Earth and the outer space application. And this is the new material science. For example, from ISRO and then I went to DRDO. When I went to DRDO, heat shield needed. And when the outside temperature 4000 degree Kelvin, when re-enters Agni missile, 4000 degree Kelvin, it's a burning temperature. And uh, Inside material of a missile has to withstand, like what we are 25 degrees centigrade. So we have designed a material called carbon-carbon heat shield for certain portions. That will protect the system inside the heat shield, whatever the temperature it experiences during the hypersonic flight. So material science has got a tremendous future for interplanetary movement and interplanetary travel and interplanetary explorations. Well, with the same heat shield material, we have uh, one of my prof pre friends, a professor, Professor Prasad. Uh, he is orthopedic uh, surgeon. He saw that heat shield material so light. Uh, he said, why not you use the missile material uh, to the calipers, that is for the polio patient children were wearing 4 kilogram calipers to walk. And children found it very difficult because it was very heavy. So he said use the same heat shield material what you used Agni and can you reduce the weight. Uh, we took it as a challenge about 15 scientists and staff worked together. In 30 days, they brought down the weight 4 kilogram, 4 kilogram caliper to 400 gram, one tenth of the weight. And the children, when they wore, they were very happy. They were in a position to run with their calipers.